So it's April 1st. Uh, I I don't really know what to expect. I, I have a feeling it has something to do with poisonous potatoes. Welcome everybody to the April Fool's update. I'm not quite sure what's different about this update, but something tells me we're gonna need to Oh wait, there was a torch here. What's that? Okay, it's just a starter chest. What is in here? Hmm. Poisonous potatoes. Water bucket, that's pretty nice. We got some regular mundane boring potato. Whoa, what in the world? Poisonous potato plant. Can I eat it? No. Poisonous potato plant. Can I plant it? I gotta plant this. Minecraft has a track record of making pretty funny April Fool's update, and I, I don't think I've ever actually experienced one, so this is my first one. I know in the past they've had alternate dimensions, they've had like, uh, I think there was like a would you rather, but this update seems to be all about the poisonous potato, so I'm, I'm curious to see what, what entails a poisonous potato update. Wait, I just realized that chest gave me a hoe. Oh, I should have planted. That was so dumb. Okay, well, we'll do this the old-fashioned way. I'll just chop down some trees. Okay, that's pretty normal. That's good. I'm actually going to try to find a village and get some food because there's no way I'm going to be able to last very long without any. Oh, wait, what is that? I think this is made of potato, if I'm not mistaken. That is a, that is a new potato randomly generated structure with some potato bricks. What in the world is this? What is that? There's like a potato altar... I'll take some leggings. Oh, there's our iron hoe. Perfect. We don't even have to go back. Okay, I'm guessing I put a potato on that. What the heck is this? Right clicking it doesn't do anything. If I stand in it. Oh, it's a portal. Oh, I should get some materials first. For all you Minecraft nerds who hate digging for buried treasure, let me teach you a trick real quick. Open up F3, look right here where it says block, look for the numbers in brackets, and try to get the X and Z values to 9. So if I move over one block, and then right here, and then I dig straight down, you'll notice that the buried treasure is right here. No more digging giant canyons, and look at that, we also have enough diamonds for a pickaxe if we want to make one. That's a trick that's been in the game for a long time, but I realize some people still don't know it, so I thought I'd show it off. I'm back at the potato island. I'm gonna try to plant the poisonous potato. Nope, I can't do that. What is this? I'm assuming these just give me poison, right? Yep, nope, those definitely give me poison. Okay, not quite sure what the point of that is, but you know what? I will keep them just in case. You never know what kind of lore the potato dimension's gonna have. I was curious to know if this yielded any drops, so I broke this, and it's called Terre de Pomme, which I believe is French for apple of the earth. I think that's hilarious. That is also the French word for potato. Potato eye? What? Uh, okay. There's a bunch of new things. Potato- whoa! Blaze rod, hot potato. Oh, there's. Calm down. I just realized I hadn't hit record. Oh, that makes me so sad. Okay, so what I found. Yes, that's weird. I'm very sad. I uh, I did not hit. Sh stop. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, let me talk, please. You know what? Let me just take this off for a second. I'm very sad. I did not click record and I missed a lot of stuff. First of all, there was an infected zombie type uh, that it was like potato fied. I want to find more of those. I got to show that. What's oh, a dog? I'm going to try to tame the dog. <gasps> oh, first try. Look at that. I'm naming you. Uh... Your name is Tato. Hello, I am speaking to you from the future. I realized I should have named that dog Spudnik because that would have made a fantastic pun. I did not do that and it made me very sad, but the joke was still funny and I felt like it was mandatory that I share this information with you. You may now carry on with the video. What in the world is this? I thought that was just regular iron. That is definitely not regular iron. It just gives you poisonous potatoes? Okay, good, good to know. Okay, well that was a bust. I found no zombies in that cave. It was literally the world's smallest cave. But you know what I did discover, and this is actually when I forgot to record, but I, I figured I should probably mention it. It's, you know, fairly important. This guy, um, I thought this was like a thing that you could plant. Turns out you can wear it and uh, it, it speaks to you and it makes you look funny. So I gotta take off my own mustache so I can see this one in all its glory. This is arguably more cursed than it was before. All right, let's try putting the potato on. Yeah, that's that's pretty great. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, well, we've got a potato companion now. I guess I gotta listen to it for the next two hours. All right, well, I've been looking for a while for this zombie villager potato, whatever it is, and I have not found it. So I'm gonna hope they spawn in the other dimension. And if not, I'll just summon one in at the end. Wait. That's one over there. Go, go, go. Oh, they're infecting one another. Oh, it's like a plague. Interesting. 
Okay, this is the potato zombie, I guess. I don't know what you guys are, but they got new sounds. Interesting. Let's go to the potato dimension. I'm sending dog in first. You're gonna be the first dog in potato land. Let's do this. Here we go. Oh. Oh, what in the world? Okay, well, I'm glad potato didn't get hit with that. I don't know what I expected, but this was not it. Does something smell starchy to you? I don't know. It might be the potatoes. Oh, hello. What in the world? They're like potato guardians. Get out of here. Interesting. It gives you the wither effect. Okay, I don't know if it's safe to bring dog, but I'm going to bring dog anyway. What is this? Potato flower. Oh, dog, get out of poison. I think dog's going to die. There's no way dog doesn't die. Dog is so low. Dog, you got it. You know, I'm putting dog back at the house. Dog, you're going to stay here. In fact, just so those guardians don't kill the dog, I'm going to put him there. We really just have to wait for the potato acid rain to go away, because otherwise I can't really move. That's a stick. Where did the stick come from? I'm going to go back to the overworld, and I'm going to see what happens if I sleep here. Oh, you know what? If I just sleep in the overworld, does it change the weather down there too? Okay, it's no longer raining. Let's try to go find that village. I think this guy's just going to say the same things to us again. Oh, is this the village? Interesting. Okay, there's potato sheep. What in the world? Now, there's some trees up here. These look like just vanilla trees, actually. That's not vanilla. What in the world? Those are potato bees? Potatoes? There's a new type of fruit or something. What is this? Melon? Potato fruit. Interesting. I can eat it. It gives me poison for a second, but that's actually a pretty good food source. You know what? I'm gonna take it. <gasps> okay, we're fine. Well, so far this is very cool, but incredibly odd. Poisonous, poison t what is this? If I wear this, do I take poison? No. I don't take poison and it doesn't give me anything as far as armor goes. <laughs> All right. What in the world? Oh, interesting. Okay, so that's what they do. So I'm assuming, if my calculations are correct, that the potato boots will stop any amount of fall damage, but it breaks the shoe. Hmm. What is this? Ah, what in the world? It shot at me. I don't get it. Is it proximity based? Okay, I can see myself dying very fast. It does look like there is a potato daylight cycle, so maybe I should try to get a bed from some potato sheep. Can I shear you for the... I can't shear them, so I just wasted two iron. <gasps> There's a village over there. Okay, we gotta get over there. Uh, I'm currently being chased by two baby zombies, but I should be fine. Alright, we're almost to the village. It looks like there's a potato maze over there or something. Fight, fight, fight. Who will win? Oh, the potato zombie won. Oh, that was crazy. Awesome. I'm in a potato village. Cool. This will be for the base of operations. Okay. Familiarize yourself with the villagers. These guys look a little bit different than I remember. Another one. I didn't throw any. Was I supposed to do that to find the village? Okay. You can sleep in the, 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 the potato, 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 uh, th this dimension. Uh... That's good to know. I'm going to steal a bed then, just like usual. I thought I saw... Ooh, that's something new. I thought I saw more stuff up here as well, so I, I came up to the top. Oh, I want to do the maze. I want to do the maze. All right. Which way did we go? Oh, this is looking promising. Am I supposed to go to the center of the maze? I, I think we're getting close. Okay, I think we made it. What was the point? I don't think there was anything. <laughs> yeah, I think this maze was just a waste of time. Oh, wait, there is the center, but there's nothing in it. So I've just I've just looked at the crafting recipes. I can actually use these shears to make a potato peeler. 10 damaged potato mobs. That's pretty great. I'm going to use that as a primary weapon. All right, let me guess. You sell only potatoes, right? Yeah, you only sell potatoes. Awesome. I'm really low. I don't really get the point of the potato peeler, I'm not gonna lie. Let's let's try just like this says ten damaged potato mobs, but it doesn't seem like they're taking much damage at all. A lashing potato. Toxic beam. Okay. That's something. I'm gonna craft some Oh, I got a toxic beam. Okay, how do I I need poisonous potato block? These are just regular poisonous potatoes. There's poisonous potato block. Let's make a lashing potato. What is this gonna do? Oh, it's a grappling hook. Oh, that's so cool. 
All right, well, that's going to make uh, traveling much easier. All right, I've cooked up some potatoes, so now we shouldn't go hungry for a while. I'm going to try to go over to these buildings over here before we go over to the, whatever those pillar things were. I want to try the grappling hook. I'm afraid this is going to go terribly, but let's try this. Oh, it's so close. I'm in a predicament, aren't I? Okay, okay. Um, here goes nothing. Worked, okay. Now I need to grab... Something like this. Oh! Yay! Okay, we're safe. Okay, so I guess the next step is to throw a potato eye. Let's get somewhere up high. That might help. Alright, where is potato eye going to take us? Where's the eye? Ah! A battle against the ultimate potato. That's all the information. Okay. I don't know how I'm supposed to get down here. Let me try something really dumb. Oh no! Oh my gosh! That's so much fun! Oh, I love this! Oh, that's so cool! Oh! Okay, we're good. Ah! Oh my gosh! I gotta be more careful with this thing. Mojang has successfully made the potato one of the most useful transportation items in the game. This is a this is the best update they've ever done. I don't know what I missed. I haven't noticed anything large. Maybe it's a stronghold of sorts. Up and away. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> I this is this is by far the best part of this update. Potato eye is pointing around here. Is it towards this thing? Oh, is it in the floor? Let's start digging until we find the structure. I'll just, I'll just jump down here. That's fine. I wonder if it's just a retextured existing structure or if they actually made a, a new one. Oh, that's a sound. What is the sound? <laughs> Mega Spud, Potato Lord of the Fried Legion. That's a name right there. Uh, I'm slightly worried. I'm going to set my spawn here just in case because I don't know if I'm going to die. Whoa, I think we're here. I think you're right, Potato Man. Ooh, this is not what I expected. I believe this is a trail ruin that's been reformatted to be a boss room. No, this is this is a bastion. Whoa, hello. That looks like a portal back home. That might be. Hmm, I've got one more poisonous potato. Some kind of coliseum. Oh, think you'll need a wooden sword. A wooden sword? Oh, he gave me a wooden sword. That's nice. All right, cool. I'm going in. What is that? Oh, this was a terrible idea. Out of here. Out of here. Oh my gosh. Place some blocks. I am doing that. Throw a blanket over it. I can't read. Oh, I'm about to die. Maybe I should have got some TNT. I think there's TNT back in the overworld. If I can make it back to the portal, I could get that. Woo! I have heart. No need to worry. I have everything under control. Oh, jeez. I'm just gonna go in. Please let me through. Oh, no! That's big bad! Oh! Well, there goes our portal. I think I'm out of poisonous potatoes, too, so I can't get back. Like, there's nothing... I can't do enough damage. That's... Yeah, I missed that anyway. I can't really do enough damage for that to matter. Okay, that looks like it's the most stuff. Come on, grappling hook. Okay. That's a step in the right direction. I can't... It's not mine. There's nothing over here. A hoe. There's a hoe. That's it. <laughs> Everything else is gone. Um, oh. Oh, wait, that's actually not a bad idea. Let's try doing this. Oh, I didn't even see it. <laughs> I was not looking. That did basically nothing. That did more damage to me than it did it. Yeah. Okay, so I think when it has its shield up, I can't attack it. If I can get my hand on a potato, I might be able to get the TNT. I don't have any potatoes. I'm going to do something really risky. I'm going to take my bed down there. Look at that. If I can get a if I can get one of these guys, maybe they drop potato. That dropped a potato. There's a potato. I'm going for it. 
Oh, no. I saw it, though. I got it. That's awesome. Perfect. Look at that. I only have one shot. I gotta make this count. Okay, I made a, sp I made a safe spot. Uh, we should be okay to transport the poisonous potato. Let's go. To the overworld. Wait, it doesn't work? Oh no. Oh, there it goes. What in the world? Oh, come on. <laughs> what? That's not fair. Okay, I'm going to try to find one of the randomly spawning chests. Maybe that will help us with our journey. Go. Oh. That is that is just great. That's so great. This has gone wrong for a great many of reasons. I don't think there's anything I can really do. Doing damage to him just does damage to me. I give up. I can't do anything. There's nothing to do. That chicken is glowing for some reason. Maybe that's something I need to be attention to. I wonder if that was an April Fool's and I wasn't supposed to do that. Let's try setting it on fire. Yeah, I don't think that's going to do anything. There's the flint and steel. Yeah, it's immune to fire, so that's cool. Oh, I'm doing damage. Okay, I found the strat. Okay, okay. Maybe there's a hope, as long as... Is it taking fire damage? It's taking fire damage! So that's gotta be the way to defeat it then. Not all hope is lost. Armadillos are here for some reason. Can I make a furnace using tater stone? I can, okay. These fish guys are making this really difficult. What I need to do is I need to get a source of lava. And where can I get a source of lava from? I need to figure out a way to get back to the end. Please don't put me in a new spot. Good, we're back. We got lava. I'm gonna make a platform so I can walk. Oh my gosh, stuff is still here. Wait, are we in a different place? This is a different one. Oh no! I've got the ingredients for one more hoe. That's it. So I'm gonna try to pillar out here and try to get a uh, hopefully a sense of my surroundings maybe i'll even be able to find my way back because that will allow me to get the rest of my stuff and paired with this lava bucket that should make us incredibly powerful because now it doesn't have water which means we won't be trying to swim and we'll be able to deal some damage but that portal thing also means we're not going to be able to make it back to our tnt we should have just brought that with us okay we're back out. This is this is completely different. I have no idea where we are. I'm going to try to make my way back to zero zero in hopes that I start recognizing things. As long as we can get back to our portal, I think I can navigate my way back to where we were. The problem is I didn't take my cords at the start, so I either got to hope that it's zero zero or look back in the recording and try to find the coordinates. Iron, that's big. OK, cool. Now we have some materials and a buried treasure map. They actually spawn here? What? Let's try that trick from before and see if it does actually spawn. That would be crazy. If this isn't it, I give up. <gasps> oh my gosh, it does spawn. That's crazy. More iron. That's great. Cooked food. That's even better. Oh, that's that's wonderful. And a piece of TNT. I thought that was going to be a waste of time. That's actually incredibly powerful. Assuming the TNT actually does anything and we're dead. Well, at least we're back to where we started. On the bright side, I think I know how to get back to where we died. So if I just do exactly what I just did from the other place back here. All right, I'll be right back. After definitely not cheating, we have our stuff back. I could I could not be bothered. It was I checked the recording. It was like 3200 blocks. I do not have the patience for that. Oh, so spacebar is what. Oh, that whole time, I could have avoided skipping all the dialogue if I... Is there a button for that? There's a button for potato. What in the world is all this stuff? We'll, we'll come back to this later. So, from what I'm gathering, this potato has infiltrated Minecraft by rolling on the keyboard. Oh, you can't rebind it. That's so mean. Wow, I missed all this dialogue because I, I was in the battle, I think. I've written my best Minecraft ideas. Ice cream scoops, filthy rags, emerald horse armor, sunglasses, many spiders, more spiders, lots of spiders, too many spiders. 
ice cream spiders, tiny fishing rods, boots that don't fly off my feet when I'm running, boots that don't fly off my feet kicking me in the, my own nose when I am running, emerald horses, moon glasses, x-ray glasses, four course meals, smaller salmon toothbrushes to help with the dental hygiene, one of those chocolate eggs that you find in a cave but cannot pick it up so you must unwrap its foil there on the ground and eat it immediately, leaving the trash behind. Yeah, okay. More things made of stone. Ray from last year's April Fools. That seems pretty good. I gotta find... Hold on. Potato? No. I gotta find... I gotta find my stuff. It's gonna despawn. I found something that I, I recognize. This is where we found that bee. This is a good sign. I found the village. This is it. We found it. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, we made it all the way back. That's crazy. That would have taken me extra hours that I, I don't want to do. So deal with it. That's a torch. We were here. Okay, so we're pretty close now. This time I'm just gonna dump lava. Let's see what happens. It's on fire. It doesn't take any damage. Well, at least we have some extra space to walk now that this is all gonna turn to obsidian, right? Oh my gosh. You have no idea how much time has, has been spent just trying to get back here. It's It's been a long time. I am ready for war. This potato guy is going down. I've been cooking up some food here, preparing for this epic battle. And I think this is the time. We're going to do it. We're going to win. I'm going to put this one here as a backup because I know it's not going to be on the first try. But you know what? I'm not going to... I'm not going to not try... Uh, I'm going to die... Um, I'm, I'm going to try to die. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to not die... I'm going to die... If I die, I'm going to die trying. There we go. Oh my gosh. I'm not... <laughs> I wasn't even I wasn't even acting that I actually could not say that phase one of our plan is going to be deploy the lava I'm just gonna place it and then it's gonna make me a platform to stand oh no oh no my plan has been foiled well that's not great that was that was my whole plan and fire doesn't do anything to it so I I don't know what to do anymore I didn't even get a chance to hit him. This clearly is the wrong way to go about this fight. I should not be trying this so many times. It's clearly not going to work. I mean, I guess maybe we try to talk the potato. Oh, is it going to start over again? All right, I'll be back in a bed. Okay, I've cheated again because I had to. I needed to go back to a village and there's no way I'm walking. So we need to get a great staff, I guess. It's the ultimate item in the April Fool snapshot. How do I do that? Okay, so that that makes a whole lot of more sense now. That item that I saw before, uh, the poisonous potato hammer, is not named the correct thing. So I just assumed it was another item. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pretend like I potato snacks, potato politra. I'm done. You know what? I'm done. I'm done. I'm not doing this legit. I'm I'm so tired. I have been playing this for like four and a half hours. <laughs> I'm done. I'm cheating. There's no more. I just want my grappling hook. I had such a good plan, which then was immediately foiled. And then I had another plan that was foiled. And then another one that didn't go to plan. So you know what? No more plans. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cheat. I'm just gonna fly around and I'm gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get, oh, there's two different ones. What is the point? All right, let's just take a look around this thing. What do, what do we have that we haven't really looked at? We have the great staff. Let's try that. How do you get it? I don't know. Follow my instructions very carefully. Okay. Put it into a composter. Okay. Good thing I'm in creative mode. <laughs> that was it? That was all I had to do. How do you get... Hold on. Hold on. We gotta go back. I think I figured out how to kill this guy. It involves a lot of TNT minecarts. Well, let's try it again. More TNT this time. That stupid fish. So now he's not gonna do any damage, right? Wait, I swear he's changed his name. Come on! All right. I don't think I'm playing this update right at all. This has not gone well. It was fine for like the first hour. And then after that, I just, I was so lost. Like after I found the village, I got to the dude. That's when things started going downhill. Oh. 
It's wave-based! Why did that take me so long to figure out? That makes so much more sense. So every time you see the shield up, it means he spawned those minions. Those chickens were the first of many rounds that I had to complete in order to defeat him. So you see, I'll hit him again. And if I do enough damage, his name changes and it spawns a different enemy. Get rid of these two. Now his shield is down. I deal enough damage again. Now he's the creeper kingpin. This guy is so small now. Oh my gosh. Okay. So this would have just gotten ridiculous. These guys don't even have AI, do they? Oh, they do. They do. They do. All right, that is the last one, I believe. Where'd the guy go? I've lost him. I have a plan. This is a terrible idea. Teleport every entity to me. That wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. There he is. I found him. I found him. I found him. Yay! And that drops the... That, that drops this. Okay. So it was possible. I... Ah... I wish that had been easier to understand. I feel like I missed a lot of the dialogue because I was trying to focus on surviving rather than than reading the text. It was just moving so fast. I didn't realize spacebar was what caused it to go. Well, that was fun. I wish I was a little bit smarter when playing this. I I didn't understand the very specific pathway I had to take. I didn't realize that jumping was the thing moving forward the dialogue. Well, now that that's over, uh, I will go back to playing regular mind. Minecraft, I think. Oh, what have I done? I I beat the game. Oh, this stare too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I think that's gonna call it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like, subscribe. I I have mixed feelings about this update. I've got a really cool video coming out in the next few days, so stay tuned for that. I love you guys. Peace out. Bye bye.